The third quarter brought a strong economic rebound, but now it's time to start focusing on the fourth senior economics reporter. Steve Leisman joins us now with a look at the high level of uncertainty surrounding the current outlook for, for growth where we are right now. And Steve, I looked ahead, at, I cheated and looked ahead at your, uh, at your script because we haven't gotten the 3Q number yet. That's, it's coming in a couple of weeks, right? And uh, I looked at it and, and I guess, oh, is this us? Is this our rapid CNBC update? It's 33% for the third quarter. Yes. The Atlanta, is, what's the yeah. Atlanta Fed right now? Oh. Is, are, are, are they about there? Do we still pay attention you know, to them? I don't actually follow. I, I, I oh. don't follow them, Joe. Our, our number is better. It really it is. It is? Okay. So 33 is, is and yeah. uh, so that's, that's what you're and, expecting. And so it's down 32, up 33. But if you just go now to the next uh, full screen, which we're going to talk about, Joe, I'll show you the fourth quarter, which All is right. the one that we just put together over the weekend. And it's up 4%. If you look at the fourth quarter, uh, number 3.7%. Uh, you've got the ongoing battle of stimulus. You've got the elections. You've got a lot of uncertainty. There you go. 3.7 for the fourth quarter, 4% for the fourth. Oh, the full year, we're going to be down 3.3%. Uh, some are as low as 0 0.2, others as high as 8% for the fourth quarter. Deutsche Bank, Brett Ryan writes, the labor market recovery appears to be slowing more than anticipated, which is another reason we're hesitant to raise our current quarter real GDP growth forecast from 0.2% just yet. The outlook for the consumer, that's the big swing factor, with some arguing that the springtime uh, CARES relief package injected enough money into people's pockets to keep Americans spending. Steve Stanley from Amherst Pierpont writes over the weekend, uh, he sees growth as high as 8%. The savings rate is sky high, so households have more than enough purchasing power to sustain growth in spending. But Annetta Markowska at Jeffries says, we would argue that fiscal policy was the reason for September's strength in retail activity, and it was probably the last hurrah for consumption this year. So what we have is in the spring forecasters, they underestimated how far the economy would fall, and then they underestimated how much it would come back. But the argument over stimulus, these differences in the forecast show, how much is at stake with the political fight over stimulus? Joe, um, we had uh, down 32, up 33, and then you do 3.7. So uh, that is still above a normal growth rate of, say, 2%, whatever you figure out. That is, but there's uh, still a long way to go this quarter to figure out just what's happening. The earnings, though, seem to be coming in strongly. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.